um, today's game, I think it's, it's, it's pretty much straightforward, I would say. There's nothing else to say about this game. We need to win, considering the fact that uh, we've, not, we've not performed so greatly in our previous matches. Uh, in fact, at this point, a lot of fans are losing interest right now. And um, it, it's just a one-way traffic for us right now. Just get mm -hmm. that win. Uh, I think we are very much positioned in a, in a place to get the win um, against uh, Benin Republic today, playing against Gennot Ross, Benin Republic, a side that very much, or, or rather say a coach that very much understands this national team, considering the fact that most of the players in this current squad are players that he managed, are players, some of them players that he brought into the national team. So I want to say um, it's, it's pretty much something that we should know we are going in with one mentality, one goal, one objective, which is to win, considering the fact that when we don't win this game, it's going to be putting us in even a, bad a very precarious situation as um, we are currently uh, in the World Cup series. And, and, and I want to say it's, 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 going to be a, it's going to be a victory for Nigeria. That's the only way I see this. Um, I don't think I see any other thing. I mean... One could say Benin Republic defeated us, Genot Raw, the magic of Genot Raw and all of that when we played them in Benin Republic. But uh, that's, that's in the past. Let's leave the past in the past. Um, we have uh, Victor Sime who is at this very point trying to prove himself. I'm very sure he would be playing. Also considering the fact he did not play um, in the previous World Cup qualifying matches. Yeah. We also have uh, even Stanley Wabali, I'm very sure he's trying to prove himself because there has been those conversations about um, the possibility of Madiko Koye returning as a number one, considering he's performing so well in this Syria. Ah, there's Eguavo, who is the interim manager, also trying to prove himself, considering the fact that the last time Nigeria had him in charge, which was the games against Ghana, he did not perform um, to the taste of Nigeria. So you have a lot of elements and factors trying to say, okay, we need to get things right. And I'm very sure that today they would be getting it right. All right, talking about the interim manager, Augustin Eguavon, he has also declared that Nigeria Super Eagles are raring to go for all six points available in this month's 2025 Africa Cup of Nations qualifying matches against the Benin Republic and Rwanda, which happened on Tuesday. Now, the reigning African vice champions clash with the cheetahs of Benin Republic in Uyo, and then they'll keep a date uh, with Rwanda's Amavubi in Kigali three days later. Let's hear from the coach. And, of course, uh, Genot Raw also spoke ahead of that encounter. Uh, it's a new journey, we all know. Preparation towards the um, Nations Cup uh, qualifiers, first game. And not a shot of winning. Expectations are high, but we're in good spirit. We're at home. We respect people. We expect the same thing too, but nothing short of winning. Three points is crucial, and that's what we're aiming for. Position I'm occupying right now, it's adding a lobby for it. I didn't ask for it. I didn't apply for it. It's, it's intervention from God. And, um, you know, football gave me the platform. Nigeria gave me the opportunity. I became famous. I'm known. It's true football. And true Nigeria Football Federation as well, all football as a sport. So every time a chance comes like this and I'm being called upon, if I say no, and I'm insider, how does it sound? It doesn't sound right. So I'm here today just to do the call from Nigeria and for Nigerians. You know, we have a pool of 23 players. So it's something I have to slip over and then decide who starts tomorrow. We are ready to play the game. Unfortunately, we miss one player, one good player who's injured. Is Mohamed Tijani, but we will replace him. The, the other guys are here. It's not the same situation because now Nigeria has a complete team. All the big players are here. We didn't see in June uh, Osimhen, Simon Moses, Ola Aina. They were not here. All these big players and uh, Dele also, Oshiru. So we had. Uh, a game which we could win. I think uh, everyone doesn't need to be reminded how much uh, joy we had only months ago in the last AFCON and and uh, yeah the years leading up to that to qualify. 
uh, I think this is our biggest um, idea or message to the team as well is that we want to make sure that we're there again in Morocco. That starts today. Uh, it's going to be a long journey. Uh, but yeah, what we did last time, we want to do better. And that starts with winning games and qualifying for the tournament. So uh, yeah, the mood has been very good. In Group D, Nigeria will take on Bene, and in Group J, it will be Cameroon taking on Namibia. And the fans right there in Uyo are waiting. They, I'm sure they'll be trooping to the stadiums uh, in their numbers right now, looking ahead of that game uh, for Nigeria taking on Bene Republic. Jidechi, Bene, they've beaten us before, and that was uh, in the uh, World Cup qualifiers. And this was the same way we were hoping and believing that, look, we can get this victory we have star players in the squad, uh, we have superstars, we have players who have been nominated for top awards, uh, who have also won individual awards, but we know what ended uh, the game. They beat us. Now the story is here again, African qualifiers, the same number of players, star players with Simen is in the team. We also heard Gennaro Ross saying that um, they didn't have, Nigeria didn't have um, Victor Simen, but now he's in the club, he's in the team. And there's also a Ballon d'Or nominee right there, Ademola Lukman in the squad. Trust Ekong is back in the squad. There's a new manager, a new set of new players in the squad as well. I mean, anything short of a victory would be disappointing for the fans. Absolutely. Anything short of a victory would be disappointing. I think I said that earlier, um, the fact that considering where we are coming from, um, losses, draws, a unnecessary draws for that matter at home. So I think anything short of a victory is going to be absolutely very disappointing um, for the Super Eagles. And, and I think uh, one very big factor that would play in this game today is the fact that we are having lots and lots of the players, or say a handful of the players that were not available the last time. Uh, there was also William Chustekon, who was unavailable for the last game uh, against Bene Republic, Victor Sime, a couple of top stars. Um, in our side, but yes, yeah, still not an excuse to have lost that game against Ben Republic. But I think the dynamics around the team is a little bit different from what we had the last time. Um, you have an interim manager who was not in charge the last time. Um, a different coach was in charge. That was Finidi George. Things were not really going well for him. Unfortunate how that one panned out for Nigeria. Um, but it, the air seemed to be very much different, and I think that on, in its own part is going to play a very big um, part in this particular fixture, considering the fact that many of the players, their headspace, it, it's a different mindset right now, knowing fully well that uh, they are going into this with one mission, considering that they've already disappointed Nigerians the last time they tried this. So yes, I think this is just a case of second chances. Um, you give somebody a second chance, the person also knows that they are being given a second chance, and I want to believe um, that this second chance will not be misused.